What's up game boys and girls, Big T here back with another video and we're going to talk about this Nintendo Power World situation. <laughs> uh, first I'm going to say congratulations to, I can't remember the names of the company that made Power World, uh, but congratulations to them. Six million copies sold in five days or something like that. I don't know. Uh, insane, whatever it is. Uh, 1.8 million uh, concurrent uh, players on Steam, which is also insane, which is, I think, second to only PUBG uh, for the uh, record, which is crazy. It passed uh, um, uh, Team Fortress, right? Uh, I think it was. Uh, one, of, one of those you know, <laughs> online uh, first-person shooter games. I don't know. The popular ones. I don't play them. So... Yeah, it's crazy, crazy success, and uh, obviously with that success will come some scrutiny, uh, some eyes. Let's all let's let's get this out of the road because I've seen a bunch of people uh, just because they hate <laughs> Nintendo or hate Pokemon Company. Um, let me just first say I don't have a dog in this fight. I don't care about uh, uh, Pokemon really at this point. Um, I don't think it evolved enough. Um, I don't think, um, not only just has it involved enough, I don't think they put enough, uh, uh, money behind the development of these games or abilities behind, cause these games are not up to par. Um, and it has nothing to do with the switch. It just, cause switch can put out better visuals, can put out better performance than what we're getting from these Pokemon games. And I just feel like, uh, the Pokemon company game freak is being lazy I don't know. That's the only thing I can come up with because they got the funds. They got the money to do better. Uh, they have billions of dollars in the bank. Uh, so I don't understand why they don't do better with their, you know, their cash cow. Uh, so I, I don't I really don't care. I'm not going to be defending them because I'm such a super uber Pokemon fan. I don't really care at this point. Um, but I also don't really hate them. I just I'm disappointed in what they should be able to do um, anyway. So just to get that out of the way. But there's this weird contingent of people online, uh, especially on the PC side, who are, you know, you use this as a way to say, oh, yeah, it, well, Pokemon Company steals and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, they, it, and it, they use the Dragon Quest uh, thing. And I'm like, eh. <laughs> there's, there's blatantly, like, copying to the point where if you put out something, it looks like the, that other thing, and there's inspiration, right? We all know what inspiration is. Other things are inspired by other things. Um, you can be inspired by something, but not blatantly, lazily copy it. I think this is kind of lazy. I think this is kind of blatant uh, when it comes to uh, them using these characters. I wish they didn't do it. I wish they would have done something. Look at like Tim Tim. Like Tim Tim is Pokemon like, but it doesn't use basically Pokemon looking characters um, uh, to make it happen. And maybe that's why it wasn't a huge crazy success the way this game is. Um, that's why you know it. I would like to say this game is is a success without its blatant like copying of what Pokemon characters look like i'm just talking about the character i'm not talking about the gameplay um but when you make characters that look so much like um that look so much like pokemon characters it just it it, it takes away from what it is and what it does so or what it could be I, I would love to be able to celebrate this game and say oh it's inspired by pokemon but it's not like uh, people, I don't feel like people are jumping onto it because the characters just look like Pokemon characters. It look like they look like characters that could be in the next generation of Pokemon. You know what I mean? Like it's that close it's for a lot of them. So I wish I could say that. Um, I'm happy for the success, but I wish I could say the success is because it's Pokemon like, not because these characters look like Pokemon characters. Um, and that's unfortunate. I don't know if they're straight up copying as far as like they said there's some AI stuff and that the AI is taking them and changing them a little bit. I don't know if that's the case. I think if that is the case, they can be sued. Um, I'm not going to say they need to be sued or they should be sued. I just wish uh, the game could stand on its own. Um, uh, for the most part and unfortunately we'll never be able to say yeah it's standing on its own even though it's doing the pokemon like thing it's not like like digimon digimon characters while very similar you know digimon characters as far as the aesthetic or not the aesthetic even the 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 concept 
uh, the characters don't look like Pokemon characters. Um, what's the other one? Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, can you consider Yu-Gi-Oh that? I don't know, but I don't feel like, oh, that's Pokemon. It's inspired by what Pokemon has done, but I don't feel like that's Pokemon. So, uh, Nintendo, if they find a way, I'm sure they will. Uh, there was this mod recently that just blatantly <laughs> took Pokemon characters and had Ash catch them and all the Pokemon characters and swapped them out with the Tim Tim characters. And it, and yeah, the Nintendo already struck that down, uh, I think with in less than a day. So, um, yeah, don't, I mean, <laughs> and you're going to blatantly do that. Then that's just, you know, they should have not allow, I don't know how it works with mods. So I don't know if they can stop them from making those types of mods or not, but yeah, it's, it was pretty funny to see just, uh, Ash catch him running around and, uh, <laughs> Pokemon in this power world game. Now, like I said, I like the concept of it. Um, I think if Pokemon had evolved, uh, the mainline games had evolved and done and incorporated some of this stuff. Cause this, some of this stuff works really well with a Pokemon game. Uh, I think this wouldn't be an issue. I don't, uh, this company may not have even made this game, right? Uh, or at least at the, at the, at the most part, it wouldn't have so much energy behind it because people are tired. And these are fans. Not all of them are fans, but some of these people are fans. You don't sell 6 million copies of a, you know, a game that reminds people or franchise they don't care about. Right? Like nobody was sitting on the fence saying, Oh man, I, I like Pokemon, but I want them to add a survival aspect to it. No, I think if you don't care for Pokemon, you're not going to care for this game. Um, or a game like it, uh, because of the aesthetic, right? The aesthetic is a, a big draw to this game also. Oh, Pokemon with guns, right? That was the big thing. That was the term that people used. So, you know, like, obviously that is a big part of it. Uh, so a lot of these people, like I said, are fans of Pokemon and disgruntled fans. They want the franchise to evolve and do more and to not release broken games, <laughs> you know, like performance issues that are still persistent in this game from what is it two years now uh at least a year i don't know when i can't remember if the dlc was a thing yeah I mean, it's a year a little bit over a year right at this point um like you know how is this still an issue again with the resources that game freak has that the pokemon company has this should not be an issue with their games so yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if Nintendo has a case. Um, they might because of the blatant similarity. I mean, it is blatant, sim <laughs> blatant similarity. It's the one thing, again, like the Dragon... Because people were bringing up Dragon Quest, Dr Dragon Quest characters and saying, well, Nintendo or... Uh, not Nintendo, but Game Freak, Pokemon Company or inspired by, heavily inspired by these characters. But if you look at the character models in-game, they don't really look the same yeah you can look at some drawing of the character and say oh that that character looks like this character yeah but when we're talking we're talking about the in-game aspects the in-game models of the the dragon quest characters and the in-game models of pokemon and they don't really look the same they don't look like they're in the same universe whereas a power world characters look like <laughs> they straight up look like pokemon characters so you know i don't know if they have something there um and Nintendo, if they do, they'll they'll use it because I'm sure they're not loving this whole situation. Um, but again, had they could have they could have avoided this, I think, if they had you know, really evolved Pokemon to a point where they thought about adding certain aspects of the game. Because the core of Pokemon is great, so add to the core of that and don't release broken games. Also, so. That is what it is. But yeah, that's my take on it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like Power World? Are you playing it? I haven't played it yet. I have it. I have Game Pass, so I was in curiosity going to download it and see if I like it as much as a lot of people seem to like it. I may not. I'm, I, you know, I, I haven't rushed to download it, so it feels like a game that might not appeal to me. But um, I'm going to check it out. Uh, but what do you think? Do you think Nintendo has a lawsuit here? Uh, are you on the angry hater side? <laughs> are you on the, I don't really care side, kind of like me? Um, you know, let me know in the comments below. Thank you again for watching and listening and I'll see you fools next time. Peace out.